Hi there. Welcome to my very first installment of True and Worthy Successors. You know, I came up in an amazing era of rock and roll. It was filled with all of these amazingly great hair metal bands like Motley Crue and Def Leppard and Poison and oh my god, so many others. And it was also filled with so many of these great, hard, really, really hard heavy rock bands like Iron Maiden, Metallica, and Judas Priest, and so many of the other, so many of those others. And I went to all those shows and listened to all them, just rocked out to the whole thing. And just like so many of you did, I'm sure. And we loved those songs and we lived those songs. And that's the reason why I'm talking about this one right now. It's Iron Maiden, Two Minutes to Midnight. This thing came out in 1984, and it still holds up. And by the way, it sounds just as true today as it did when it came out, doesn't it? But the song itself, and just the beat, and the screaming vocals, and it's just, it's so fast. And this album and this band stand for all time. Their legacy is unmatched. And by the way, they are still, even today, they're still out there kicking heavy metal ass all around the world. And nobody can ever take that away from them. And nobody will ever take away those songs and those bands from us. They really do stand for all time. But for those of you out there who may be kind of sort of in my age bracket and wondering if there's anything out there quite like that today, I recommend for you this. The name of this band <clears throat> the name of this band is called Escape the Fate. They've been out for a couple of years. Uh, they've been through a few changes in their lineup, but their current lead singer is a person named Craig Mabbitt. I've seen him a bunch of times. They're really good. And as heavy as all the stuff that we listened to back then was, I could never have imagined that there would be anything that heavy or even heavier ever again. This holds up. And I'm here to tell you that of all the new rock artists out there, I would like to proclaim Escape the Fate as a true and worthy successor. Rock on! And in case you're with this, the name of this album is called This War is Ours, but they've got a few others. They're all really good. Uh, I picked this one because there's a particular track on here called The Flood. And if you're looking for one song that would be a successor to Two Minutes to Midnight, it would probably be that one. Another one I like on there is called Behind the Mask. Uh, not on, It was on a re-release of this, but you'll find it up here on YouTube. Anyway, that's all I have for now. But for all of you 80s metalheads out there, there's more of this coming. Consider this your wake-up call. Rock and roll still matters. And there's so many more new artists like these that I can't wait to talk to you about because they have a message that's real and fresh and new for you. And that message is don't ever forget where you came from and never stop rocking. And for all you kids out there who are just now coming on board, checking this out for the first time, welcome on board. And by the way, you are on the right track. Keep it coming. Shut up and just be the person that you already are. I want to thank all of you for watching. I'll be back again soon with another true and worthy successor. Till then, Steve out.